This screencast will go through and uh, demonstrate and showcase the different areas uh, that you can see in your Google Classroom screen. Uh, in front of us, we can see uh, straight up that we've got our um, sort of, uh, theme uh, set up with the various shapes there. So let's start off by looking at how we can change that class theme. On the right hand side, you can see it says change class theme. Uh, we simply tap onto there and you get a variety of um, different themes that you can choose from in the gallery. Uh, so let's say, uh, for argument's sake, this is a chemistry class. Uh, that I can choose a uh, science kind of background there and I can set the class theme uh, to be linked more to the uh, subject area for which the class is set up. Then around the rest of the screen we can see that we have the stream and this is where you can see all of the various announcements and assignments and I'll show you how you set those uh, in uh, a later screencast. Uh, so that's your stream. On the left hand side you can see where there are any upcoming assignments. Uh, just below that on the stream um, you can see uh, there's an option there to show deleted items. So let's say for example you have uh, removed uh, a previous um, assignment that you've set. You can just flip that over and uh, like so and that would then show uh, deleted items as well as the uh, items that aren't deleted. Uh, this is a fresh class uh, so that's um, and there's nothing to show there. And below that, uh, you have the class code. Now, you can uh, change that class code if you want to uh, by just tapping on there and hitting reset, and uh, it'll give you a different code for your class. Uh, this is the code that you give the students uh, to get them to join uh, your class. Now, you don't have to um, do it this way, you can um, invite students in if you want to, and uh, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, next you have the uh, students area, so uh, this is the stream area. If you tap on one of the students in the middle uh, on the blue band, uh, sort of near the top of the screen, tap on students and you go through to the student uh, uh, screen. Now within here, this is where you can actually invite students to your classroom uh, should you want to. So if I was to tap on to invite, I, I could invite, uh, if your Google Apps for Education has been set up this way, uh, I can invite a whole class in one go just by typing my class code um, or I can invite individual students. Uh, so forth and so on. Uh, I can also um, tap on actions and uh, that's just disabled at the moment because I haven't got uh, anything going on in this class and I'll showcase that later. Um, now what's really nice about the next bit um, is the drop down where you choose whether students can post and comment or whether students can only comment or only a teacher can post or comment. Now these options here are quite interesting um, because within these different options here um, you can basically give students different levels of access and uh, responsibility within your class in classroom. So if you want to be quite strict in your class and make it so that only you can post and comment uh, and what have you then please uh, just choose the only teacher can post or comment. Um, if you want to make it so that students can only comment Okay, that means that you can still do everything yourself as teacher, uh, but students can comment. And so that means that students can comment publicly um, on uh, various things, uh, such as uh, student work, uh, giving peer feedback, so forth and so on. Uh, alternatively, just above that, you've got the option where it says students can post and comment. And that means that students uh, there can then uh, post things into the classroom, as well as comments on work. Then, again, on the right-hand side, you have the class code drop-down. And that gives you the same options as you saw before on the main stream where you can reset uh, the uh, classroom code if you want to. Um, for example, if, a, if the random code came up with an inappropriate uh, acronym there or something like that. Um, or you, uh, the alternative is to disable uh, any more entries into the classroom should you want to do that. The final option um, is about. And in this screen, uh, you can put in more information about your class. Uh, so this is an example class, isn't it? Uh, and a class description, uh, a bunch of uh, year nine students, for example. Uh, the room, let's say we have our lessons in IT4. And you can put in uh, other things there related to your class. Okay. Uh, one of the great things about Google Classroom um, is that it ties straight in uh, to a Google Drive folder and um, there's some really good wins there. Um, 
rather than students previously having to share documents with you uh, when they submit work to you in Google Classroom. That work is automatically shared with you so you can view it, so you can see it and, and, and assess it and so forth and so on. Uh, it also puts a copy of that work into a folder in your drive area. Um, there's a folder there that will create called Classroom and then for every class that you have within Classroom it will make a folder for you there for each of those classes and with each of those classes it will make another folder for each of the assignments that you set and all the students work will then reside within there and it's really really easy and simple to access uh, all of your submitted student work in one particular area. When you've made your changes in this area it's very simple then for you to just go save and it will save your information about your class. So there you have it, that's the, uh, the, the main areas uh, within your um, Google Classroom. You can go to Add Materials at the bottom and uh, that can pull things then uh, through from a hyperlink um, or to a Google Drive folder or a YouTube video uh, and so forth and so on. Um, and, and you can have those things uh, sort of displayed all the time at any given time uh, within your classroom. So that could be, for example, a link to the scheme of work or a link to a textbook that you've made in iBooks or whatever, or Book Creator. And um, those things can then say, sort of hover over all those different areas uh, within Google Classroom. It really is very, very powerful indeed. Um, so there you go. I'll just close that down there and go back to my stream. And here is the class all set up, ready for some announcements and assignments. Thanks for watching.